All right, Kim, thank you. In good health, the warmer temperatures will be coming any minute now. <laughs> um, but with that, for many, that means getting back out on the golf course. But here's the thing. If you spent the winter months inactive, you could be setting yourself up for a golf injury. So take note, Rhonda, Dr. McGeorge is here with some advice to stay in full swing. I'm all ears. When the body does the same thing over and over again, it can cause a repetitive motion injury. Paying attention to correct golfing mechanics and fixing your swing is just as important to your health as it is to your scorecard. Come spring, back pain is the most common golf-related injury because of the asymmetrical nature of the sport. It changes your leg length because your leg bones are connected to your hip and pelvic bones. And so a lot of times the back pain isn't so much from the spine, but it's from your pelvis. In addition to back pain, other common golfing injuries include knee, shoulder, and elbow pain. The type and severity of the injury depends on the person's swing, their body type, and their physical condition. Most injuries are the result of poor swing mechanics, which are caused by abnormal body mechanics. The best way to prevent most injuries is to keep yourself in optimal physical condition year-round with diet and a regular exercise program. And once you get back into golf season, it's best to take breaks and not play every day. Off days give the body a chance to rest and repair. Use those off days to add a little cross training with activities like swimming or an elliptical. Too much repetitive motion can alter your overall alignment, setting the body up for muscle restriction in some areas and looseness in others. If you're able to correct the pelvic alignment, level things out, and then work on a good core strengthening program and leg strengthening program, it generally tends to help reduce the incidences of back pain. Now, if you experience pain after a round of golf, the best thing to do is to apply ice to the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes and then continue to apply it every couple of hours. If the pain doesn't subside after two or three days, you should contact your doctor. Playing through the pain can just cause further injury. Back to you. Wow. Good information. Yeah, it's very good. I haven't had any of those issues yet, but Brandon was like, oh, yeah, I had that. I had that. Right. <laughs> He's a lot um, older than me, though. Exactly. I was, I was going to say it. I'll let you say it. All right.